Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a humongous favorites video. And the reason why is because last month, not last month, but the month before last, I did a lot of traveling. I was at the beach a lot. I didn't really wear a ton of makeup. So I didn't have a ton of favorites in the month of August and therefore I did not end up filming a favorites video. That never happens. It happens very often, maybe once or twice on my channel. But because of that, I have a huge favorites video to show you guys today. I'm so excited. Lots of products to share. So yeah, really quick before we get started, if you are new to my channel, then welcome to my channel make sure before you leave you do not forget to subscribe down below like I see you go ahead and hit that subscribe button <laughs> I do post now three times a week so I'm posting on Sundays Wednesdays and every Monday we're doing mail haul Mondays but yeah I'm very excited to show you guys this video and all of my favorites so let's go ahead and get started I don't even know which favorite to start off with because there's so many good ones. But, okay, so the very first favorite of the month is the Bumble and Bubble BB Strong. This is a firm hold hairspray. What I like to call it is a miracle worker because one thing with my hair is like today, when I wash my hair the very first day, I cannot curl it because it does not hold. And these have been in for quite a few hours. So this hairspray is just seriously amazing. Like I've never had a hairspray that holds this good without making your hair feel like crunchy. Like I can still run my fingers through my hair and it's totally fine. Normally with firm hold hairsprays, it's like sticks of straw. Y'all know what I'm talking about? So this is really awesome. And again, it definitely just holds your hair in place. And again, I've just never been able to wash my hair and curl it in the same day and then it lasts. So if you guys are looking for a really awesome hairspray, definitely try this out. And I have so much to tell you guys about Jim Beauty and everything. I ended up being able to go to Bumble and Bumble headquarters and meet the team and get my hair done. And there's a lot of other awesome products that I'm trying out from there that I'm sure is going to be in favorites but this one forever stolen my heart I'm never buying another hairspray again in my entire life that's how much I love it <laughs> okay next favorite of the month is the makeup geek in the new palette I've been loving a ton of products lately from makeup geek but this palette right here is such a great everyday staple it has a really pretty shimmery shades that are just really good for everyday looks you have like the perfect set of matte nude shades and like here are a couple shades swatched on my fingers but I have been loving this palette like when I first got it and thank you to Makeup Geek because they actually sent it to me in the mail. I was actually doing my makeup for work like normally on a day-to-day -day basis it's eyebrows and foundation and that's it and powder but <laughs> when I got this palette I was actually doing my eyeshadow because I was so excited about the colors so here are some of those shades swatched but if you're looking for really high quality products at a really great price and you want something that's really for every day this palette is perfect for that i love it so much and i cannot wait to keep using it the other two things i've been loving and i think these also are from the in the new collection and i have them on today is the bronzer and highlighter and again they are just so gorgeous so the highlighter is called daybreak and the packaging is really pretty it's in like a kind of darker gray mirrored packaging but this is the shade daybreak and oh my gosh i even went in with a light hand today let me just pop a little bit more on but you can still see it. it's just so 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 pretty so there's that shade and again oh my gosh I just love it do you see this I mean do you see this it's so so gorgeous I mean I'm just so impressed with their products lately another thing I've been loving is the I think you pronounce this tawny and this is a bronzer and it's that perfect shade of bronze that isn't orange but it isn't like too too dark and it's like the perfect shade ever oh my gosh i love it it's not too cool tone it's not too warm tone it's just like the best so there are those two swatched, but again, oh my goodness, I am so very much in love with these. So I will leave those linked down below for you guys, as well as all the other products that we talk about today. But I'm obsessing over Makeup Geek now. I just love those products and I have just been like grabbing for them. Like that's pretty much all I use in the month of August and September. On my face, I've just been obsessed with the highlights and the bronzers and the eyeshadows. <laughs> okay, the next palette is another palette I've been loving. And I honestly, like for even New York, I took very minimal palettes. When I say minimal, like a lot, but not a lot for me because I like options. But this is the She palette. I hope that this is still available by ColourPop. It is a very, very affordable palette. And there is an eye look that I've done with this a couple of times. And I'm just so obsessed. Like honestly, the shades on this palette are so gorgeous. Okay, so I use this for a brow bone highlight. And then I mix these two shades on the lid and then I normally do some like purples and stuff oh my gosh like look at that lid shade it's so pretty like these are amazing 
Do not sleep on the ColourPop shadows because they honestly blow me away. They're like one of my top eyeshadow brands. There are those. I want to swatch some other ones. They're just so good. Okay, let me swatch some of these matte shades. So like normally I mix these two colors in the crease. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And then I normally kind of mix in the other shades too. Like I create the whole entire look that I was using just with this palette. Do you see how pretty they are? And they're just so pigmented. I don't know how ColourPop does it for the amount that these eyeshadow palettes are. Honestly, it makes me feel like other companies are ripping us off. <laughs> But like, look at this. I don't think the camera will ever do justice to how beautiful these are on the eyes, but oh my gosh, I just love them so much. So, so much. So again, that is the ColourPop She Palette. I wish ColourPop would drop like a 50 pan eyeshadow palette or something. Like these eyeshadow palettes are really tiny. I mean, well, here's like side by side with the Makeup Geek, but I really like them and I wish they would do like even more shades in a palette, but I love that they're actually coming out with palettes because again, some of my favorite shadows. I've been really into stick foundations in the last two months. I don't know if it's because I'm being lazy or what it is, but two that I've been loving, I've been picking up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick a little bit more. This one is in the shade 123 or Y365. And here's what it looks like. This one does make me just a little bit oily when I wear it for a super long time, because again, it is a stick foundation. But I have been really liking this because it's just so easy to put on, go out the door and you're done. The other one actually came from Octoly and Lancôme, And this is the Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. And again, just a really easy way. This one's really pretty. It is very full coverage. And the liquid foundation in this, I really love. So I knew I was going to love the stick. But I have been using it a lot here lately. And it's a really full coverage look too, which I really like. Look, I'm doing these kind of in two. So the next two things are actually bronzers I've been using. So I've been like kind of in between foundation shades. So I've been kind of using lighter shades and bronzing them up a little bit if I'm more tan. The first one is the NARS and this is the Laguna Liquid Bronzer. I love this stuff. It's such a pretty shade and it's really good where if you go in with your foundation and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm looking a little pale. You can just take a couple little dabs of this on a beauty blender and just like kind of dab it in all over your face and then you're good to go. The next one came from Pure and this is the Bronze Your Selfie. They actually sent this to me a little while ago and it is a body liquid bronzer but you can also use it on your face. So sometimes if the foundation's really light what I've been doing is actually squirting a little bit of this with the foundation and kind of mixing it up and I believe you can use this as a primer too but it is a really really pretty shade. Oh I forgot about this foundation. Okay so I don't know. I'm always in between shades with Estee Lauder and they have so many different shades that it's hard because they have neutrals, they have warms, they have cools, and I've always stuck really with the neutral tones, but I got shade match and, and the one shade they actually did end up sending me was the perfect match. It is Rattan, I believe is how you pronounce it. And I've been mixing this also with cashew, kind of to give me a little bit warmer tone look. But you guys, y'all know this is my favorite foundation and this is literally one of the only foundations I took with me to New York. I had the Makeup Forever HD foundation as well. But this one, I just always have said, it just lays on your skin so beautifully. It keeps me really nice and matte throughout the whole day. And I don't really have to touch up with it. So I have just been back into my double wear game lately. I've been using it a lot more recently, especially since I feel like I have my shade match now. Um, and yeah, the Estee Lauder double wear has been a favorite of mine. Definitely. All into these two for two for two. Okay, the next product is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, and this is with rose water and green tea. And as you can see, I've actually used quite a lot of this. It smells really good, it has a great scent to it, and I do feel like it does like set your makeup really nicely. And here is what that looks like. And it's sold in Target too, I believe, so it is pretty inexpensive. The other item is the Dior Fresh Hydration Sorbet Cream, and this is a moisturizer. It's a very, very hydrating, and I actually have been a little bit drier here lately, and then I've been getting oily, again, if I wear my makeup for like a 12, 14 hours, which anyone would get oily. But I've been using this as a moisturizer and I've really been liking it because again, it is very hydrating. Y'all are probably like, dang girl, I knew you were coming through with the favorites, but like I am showing up and really coming through. I have a lot of favorites. Okay, the next one is the Ofra Professional Makeup. This is their blush palette. And again, this is one of the only blush palettes I took with me to New York because you have everything. Like anything and everything you would need, you have in this palette. You have neutrals, you have lighter shades, you have pinky mauves, you have bright shades, you have dark shades, and they're just so pretty. Like here's the shade I've been wearing, it's the shade right here. And I've been mixing it with this shade 
and sometimes even this shade just depend on how pink I want it but here are these three shades these are my favorite in the palette I'm wearing them today on my cheeks and I just love them when I show you these swatches you guys are gonna be like holy pigment but <laughs> really they're so pretty and you can blend them out so they aren't like crazy bright or crazy dark pigmented but these are my three favorites from the palette and again i love just how much variety you get with this palette and it's really nice quality too and congratulations to ofra i know they're now being sold in ulta which is really awesome as well and that is the blush palette as always i have a discount code danielle ray so i'll leave it down below for you guys all right now you guys knew there was no way i could do a favorites without talking about the necklace i've been raving about forever so this came from stella and dot and this is called the amelia sparkle necklace i've worn in so many videos because i really don't have that many like fancy necklaces so it has all these different layers and you can basically wear them separate or together but it's a absolutely gorgeous necklace it's making me like want to have more necklaces i really don't have that much jewelry the necklace i have on today i believe is from stella and dot as well my boss let me borrow it so i'm in love with it and i've been trying to like stop their website and i don't see it so if anybody knows like where i can get this one too holler at your girl because i'm on the hunt for it but yeah love the stella and dot necklace i really love their jewelry and again it's just making me want to get more fancy with my jewelry because it's so pretty and i've gotten a lot of compliments on it too whenever i've worn it out because like i said i've been wearing it everywhere <laughs> oh my gosh y'all this is like the struggle next thing is going to be the kevin aquan concealer obsessed obsessed it dries really fast so like if you're a slow poke like i am sometimes you want to make sure you go in kind of fast and work with it but it's so pretty so full coverage i just love the shades like i don't think i've found a concealer that i like this much but really pretty it goes beautifully on the skin and again that is the kevin kwan concealer it is a little bit more pricey but it's a hundred percent worth the money because it's that good oh my gosh finally on to lip products okay first two lip products i'm going to talk about are the colors i'm wearing today on my lips i'm going to do a full entire swatch video on this collection because these are the most amazing lipsticks i've ever used especially for the price tag so these are the l'oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipsticks i swear i've told everybody i know about these and the reason why is because when i was in new york i put one of these shades on at nine o'clock in the morning and after some serious eating <laughs> like breakfast lunch dinner and snacks new york pizza and hot dogs i believe it was still on and i didn't even have to touch up like not even once did i touch up and it looked perfect oh my gosh i love it so much i mean i'm just so amazed the applicator is absolutely amazing like honestly all brands should try to do this applicator it is awesome it goes on so creamy like it feels like butter on your lips and then you can like rub your lips together and then like get the product where you want it and at first it looks like it's gonna be very shiny and not dry down then it just dries down so the two shades i've been loving and again i'm gonna do a full swatch video so you guys can see these because you want to hop on this train honestly just I cannot even tell you how much I love these. Okay, Petal Potion and then Plum Bum are these two. The Plum Bum is the <laughs> Plum Bum is the dark one, and then this is the other one. But I love these so much. I mean, I cannot stop raving about them. I I just don't know. I don't even know what to say. That's how good they are. So <laughs> there are those two shades swatch. Next ones are from Milk Makeup, and I did wear these a little bit in New York. Now they don't last nearly as long as the L'Oreal ones. You are gonna have to touch up, but they are really pretty. So this one's in the color cream, and it's just that really pretty, like everyday mauvey peachy pink shade. And the next one is the shade New Whip. And this one isn't as matte, it has more of a shine to it, but there is that shade right there. Very pretty, reminds me of Rebel by MAC. And then Sigma, it's so funny because because in every single one I have like a lighter shade and a darker shade so Sigma came out with this one collection I cannot I don't know the actual name of it but this one is the barely blooming lipstick and it's like a really like light nude so what I've been doing is wearing like a really pink lip liner with it but there's that one right there and the other shade again is just a little bit darker you can see the theme here with my lip swatches but there is that one right there and that one is called Dahlia Lipstick. So here are all those swatches but some really, really pretty shades that I'm very excited about. And yeah, that is going to complete my favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed all my favorites. Let me know down below what your favorites are this month. I love to hear those. And as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.